one you get inside. Yeah. Yeah. It's only yeah. one real big one. All right, well, now that we've got that out of the way, what does she do about it? <laughs> My approach would be to say, look, I learned things the hard way. I made my choices as I came up. I've done the best by this child that I could do at the time I was doing it. She's going to have to learn her way. Is that wrong? Oh, it's very important to let, let it be that they're going to learn their way. It really is important, too, to bring it off the screen in the sense that it, initially it's it just seems so natural to start to analyze the motives of others and to try to kind of get inside their head. Like, what are they thinking? What must they be going through to, to, for their decision-making process? And that is the, the, the major ego delay tactic in coming to a resolution in one's own mind is to, so to speak, get out there and start to figure and analyze the motives of others. Even, it can seem more tempting, once again, if it's it's my daughter, though. I mean, I'm not concerned about the guy on the news that's having a problem with his geo, but this is my daughter. And, and it seems like with certain people, it seems important to know their motivations. And, and Jesus is saying, come back. Don't, don't get so concerned about this other person's behavior. Don't get so concerned about what's going on in this so-called other person's mind, but bring it back to, first of all, how am I feeling? If I'm feeling like there's something a little uneasy and maybe even like I want to avoid it, that I don't want to even talk about it, then there's an uneasiness there, that, and that is what needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. How do you do that? Well, it, it's an inward process, again, of looking at, if we get back to our rings on the chart that you have, mm -hmm. that the outer rings are determined by the inner ring. So in other words, the second ring on, next to the outside is, is emotion. So if you first get in touch with your emotion, like you're feeling... So let's do this let's as a demonstration yeah. of how you trace it back. Trace it back. So, so just with the situation, when you think about the situation, and how do you feel? What kind of feelings are coming anxious. up? I feel really anxious about the fact that she's, she's doing this. And more about the fact that she's going to bring this car back, which I think is a bad move, than the fact that she's driving across the country by herself in a car that may not, you know, be dependable. And I, I, that really bothers me that that I'm putting emphasis on this material thing rather than her on her. Yes. Yeah. That, that's so you that's feel guilty? Do you feel guilty that you're thinking more that, of the uh, value of the car than? Yeah, her being able to use it to get back across the country. That, that would be, you know, part of it. So that's good. That's, a, that's yeah. another area. I mean, we, we kind of explore a little bit the financial thing, but the whole idea of of perhaps fear for, for safety of driving a three-cylinder car over the Rocky Mountains or so on and yeah. so forth, and what yeah. would happen if it just broke, she broke, broke down in the middle of nowhere and so on and so forth. And again, what's below the ring of the emotions out there, it's the thoughts. So you have concern for your daughter's safety. And again, whenever there's concern for somebody else, there's concern for bodies. You know, it's not like you're concerned for her spirit. Like her spirit's going to get down. stranded on the Rockies. <laughs> or, you know, that somehow your spirit could get stranded on a highway or whatever. <laughs> but obviously there are body thoughts involved there. There's concern over the welfare and the safety of the body. Is, is that any different than the concern over the welfare and the safety of these, of the body that seems to be the self, yeah. too? I mean, that's why, that's why all these extravagant measures of health insurance and life insurance and, you know, food and nutrition and exercise and just think of all the energy and work that goes into protecting and guarding and maintaining, keeping, maintaining this body. So... You can see where it starts to work out <coughs> the thoughts, that if there's a concern over the thought for your daughter's body, then that would be at the thought level. Now, the thoughts spring from the beliefs, and in a sense, the concern about the body, it traces down to the ego belief that one is, that one is the body, and one brother, one's brother, or in this case, daughter, <coughs> is the body mm -hmm. as well. So it gives you a little sense of how it starts to trace down that there's this belief in separation. 